I'm here with Douglas King. Most persons will know him as Muddy Knights. And uh, he is standing next to a steel pan that he built. And maybe Muddy, you could tell us a little about the process. Well, it's, uh, it's a DBS. It's a long, hard process to, uh, to completion, to get them completed. But uh, you just have to have the wisdom and the knowledge of how to do it. But it's not easy. These things just take about 25 years to accomplish making a pan, especially ten a pan. But ten a pan, you have to sink all to the depth of eight, eight, eight inches. And after that eight inches, is what you think of. When you're going to beat out, it doesn't mean it will come about eight and a half inches and then you got to go through so much of process you got to use pencil you got to use ruler you got to use diagrams and you got to use notes that are already cut out so you have to place the note in and then take your pencil and there's a special material you take to use those notes and then after that now you gotta you gotta have your flat stove lamp lamp time we are use we are wood we use wooden thing to burn our pan but you see when you burn the pans and wood they are you doesn't get everything burned equally which means fire might be on one side of the pan and some notes over there will get a good burning but other notes would not get a perfect a pro, an appropriate burning so basically, you need a stove, a flat stove, you get your gas bottle, and you, you turn up your stove to the maximum, to the highest. So everybody, all the notes will get burned. So that, 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 is, that is another process you have to go through. So after that, well, you know, first you, you sketch it. First you, are, you clean it, you, you sink it, you sink it down. You, you put, then you put, you put your diagram, your, your length of your notes, all them things you have to know. So that's why I tell you it's a long process. So after the burning now, what you do, you get your sandpaper, you get your paper, and you grease it off, you clean it off. The water after that now, you have it ready for care to chew. Then you have to go now and rough tune it. That's one, one, that one tuning, and that will take you maybe, according to the person, might be an hour, two hours. If you like to take your time, it's better when you take your time. Then again, after that tuning, that's mean you, when you say rough tuning, you, you loosen up the notes, you slacken the notes. Then again, now you have to go and do another tuning, what you call fine tuning. That's mean you have to go around the pan again, inside and outside. After that, now you have a tuning you call blending. That's the third tuning and final tuning. So you have to go around the pan again, maybe about twice. And you have to know the song you want. If you find you not a, if you find you not a, a confident with a note, you'll go at it again until you get it to the uh, song you want it to sound like. You know? But it's a long process, Wayne. But it, 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 it's, it's worth the determination. And it's worth, your, it's, it's worth your attention because these things that make you uh, a more appropriate person, you know, I mean, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And it, it, they give you a lot of patience, you know, but it's not an easy work. And people just watching it like that and, and despise and ignoring it. But it's not an easy work, you see? And when you charge now, Trinidad will tell you a pan like this, you might have to pay about 2200 you know, for a pan like this, because these are the powder coated. You know, a normal pan without powder coat, you have to pay $1,800. Well, you know, Chrome pan is $2,500. But then I think they go on up now to so about 2600 And that's easy. 
uh, yeah, easy. When you can go out to Trinidad money, that's when you come in easy. So, so people mustn't just look at the, the, them like that and think. Because they are already complete and ready done. Think that they just drop out the skies. <laughs> so the whole process is, takes place here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Yeah, I did everything. In, including the coating? Yeah, the coating takes And could, could you speak a bit as it relates to the, the finish of the pan? Well, the, the type of um, finish each pan has? Because I notice you have two different colors. And uh, normally you would have a, a third color. Okay, well, when, when I went to the, uh, the individual, the person that did this, yeah, yeah, and for these is just like the chrome and you have to have an oven. So, he carried me into a room and showed me the, 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 the power, the coat that he has, you know. Like and that's, here. that's locally, that's here locally, in St. Vincent. Locally, yeah, I got that yesterday. <clears throat> so, he carried me there and showed me. Yeah, the guys are, and it's a family of mine, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, not too far either, you know. My, my... My, my uh, uncle was a, uh, my uncle was a uh, mascal, 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 but he still is a mascal too. Okay, so and that. where did you learn the skill to make the pans, tune the pans? Well, you see people, <laughs> people not aware, you know, they're not aware of the process and where the process I came to. But I've been since seven years I've been beating pan with big man, big men. All of them pan man is here on they didn't born yet. <laughs> seven years going and play with big men. I used to go in the park. I used to we, we used to have a, a a competition, a solo competition, which means you play a test piece, which like a, a, a soft tune, you know, like like Moon River. Let me even know that song here, you know. <laughs> And those plays, so those kind of songs. So I, uh, they just select a, 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 a song for you to play, and you have to practice that. When I go there, sometimes nobody else turn up because they kind of scared of me. I know they're scared of me that they don't, they don't lose already. You know, Tanya, all of them, they used to have a hard time with me. So I've been around with the days with Woodley, all them fellas. Carlo was a young man that time. Gilbert, Ishmael. People don't know about uh, Tasty, Wendy Goods, the Frenches, Sparrow Duncan used to play the drum for uh, us in Shelly Region. If you tell a person about Shelly Region, about him, Shelly Region, in, in, uh, in uh, Frenches, they don't, know, they don't know about that. You see? So, I've been around a long time, so. And I used to tune my own pan. Beckett could tell you I used to be in park tuning my own pan when Beckett used to play with the uh, Leo Band. Eh? Yellow, the Yupan side. Like it was not, he was not so uh, involved in the uh, calypso and singing much. He was a fine man. He used to play the double second. So when Beckett me and Beckett meet, we used to talk. Uh, we band, them band there beside them with the hair, so we used to talk and rap. And sometimes I did tapping up my pan with it. If I don't have a plahama, I will use a bottle of stone. <laughs> So I've been tuning and pan with bottle of stone. So it, it just it just don't come like that. It's a process a long one. So I've I, I, I been through I went I've been through I went through a lot of process so I speak in so fast because I, I urgently I really <laughs> I have to go. Yeah, I, I was fortunate I, to catch you to catch I you have today. To go to uh, but just just so the, the last point is that you don't only make this size, you also make pans for children. Yeah. Person so and I think there's one behind you there. Yeah, that's right. And I, I make for tourists too, yeah. Well those tourists, whether they were big or small. But that's what I do, I make for kids too. Eh? And those pans, if you could play them, you'll be you will become an extreme professional on the big jobs. You see? And they, they, they sound nice as well. They have a lot of them they sound. Especially when you get like good jobs with good material, mm -hmm. with, with a good gauge. You know, not too much lead, not too much, uh, not too much galvanized in the drum. You know, that's the gauge. When you get like a pan with like gauge like steel and copper, 
you know? Those are good. So you will, your notes will come out flying, you know? So will come out strong and good. Muddy, thanks for your time. I know you're, you're, you're in a hurry. Yeah. But I want to thank you and to that person that the pans are available here at the Music Center. Yeah. I'm going to test your memory now because you, you mentioned the song and you say everybody afraid you. Could you take us out of the short bit of um, Moon River? Well, <laughs> I ain't do that for a long time. <laughs> Everybody, thanks for yeah. dropping by the music yeah. center and uh, again okay so thank you, thank you, uh, you're, you're welcome and I will say this to you um, even Trinidadians who came up the last time they had panorama they came up with two play for different bands and they came to the shop and they were very impressed with the quality and the sound of the pan. Okay? And uh, as I indicated, they're available here at the Music Center. We mm -hmm. have uh, two colors. Plus, we have uh, back in the corner there behind the speaker, one of the smaller pans that's mainly yes. for tourists and, and children. Well, you see, uh, and they, they're available, but they, it, it, they're, not, they're not even expensive because you can get a deal, you know? You can get an offer. You see? So we won't charge you like Trinidad because a lo locality, yeah? because we are uh, local and you know. We want to assist, but people, you know, so they could come, they could come and get a good pan. Now if they wanted to uh, if they when the, a person buy these pans, I will just when they want the pan I could come today, the next day they uh, organize with you or Sam. No. I could come and take the pan and carry it home and put it back in the electric tuner, which you call a stroke. And you had to have a microphone or a thing, plug microphone in it to get the real song and the, you know, get the equality of the song and the notes. So I could just carry it and put it back and it, although you hear this, this, this song pretty good still. You see, but all might be like that. Or some so before the customer takes possession of the pan, you will give it uh, you tune it yeah, elect but what electronically. They have, to do, they have to make a down payment payment with you or Sam. You know? not, not, not a problem. And okay. then I could come and take the pan and check back the notes and the, and the electric tuner. Okay. And get it even more perfect. You see? Okay, so Muddy. Some people just come in the shop and when you are not looking, they go take, they go take the finger. But mm -hmm. so you don't hit the pans with fingers. You know, fellas. Let's throw out the, the pan room in Trinidad for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have the, the pan sticks, and so that ought not to be a problem. Everything, they're getting stand everything for a good package. Look at that. Okay, thank and you very much. Style. <laughs> for your time, and, and I know you're in a hurry, so I pre appreciate you dropping by. Yeah. Thank you, Muddy.